Good morning, 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Brandon Hardison, President of Champion Strategies with you for another edition of Hardison's Tips. I know it's early, so let's get right to it. I had some middle managers in yesterday and we were talking about leadership. So uh, let's talk about you. So we've all probably heard the old adage before there's no i in team every employee is an asset to the team and brings value by working together a good leader follows this adage but a great leader gets the entire team and there's no i in team uh, mentally and building up future leaders by fostering leadership every day in the workplace. So there's just a few tips I just wanted to talk on. If you are in leadership already and maybe just uh, fell asleep, or you're going to be a leader of some people. So first thing, be a mentor. We all have someone we looked up to growing up. Maybe it was your father, mother, aunt, uncle. Maybe someone as a teacher or coach as a role model. Regardless of who that model was, they all had one thing in common. They helped you grow into the person that you are today by giving you some insight, some direction. Same thing in the workplace, especially if you're the person who was the hiring manager and interviewed that person. They came on board because you said something. They go through orientation. Now they come to you and you turned into Jekyll and Hyde. That's not being a good mentor. You need to be there for them especially in those crucial 30, 60, 90 days when they're considering, did I make a good career change? At least manage by walking around with these new people that you're mentoring. And at least at the end of their shift or before their shift, sit them down, have a one-on-one. -on -one. How are you doing? How can I assist you to get to the next level. That's what a mentor does. Number two, are you recognizing accomplishments? That's correct. If you want to lead a productive team and grow your employees into leaders, you have to show your employees that you care and appreciate a job well done. And to do that, you have to recognize accomplishments and give employees what they deserve. Good recognition. According to many surveys, 58% of employees said leaders need to give more recognition to improve, to improve employee management and engagement. It's not that hard to do. Anything from a lunch to a snack to something over the intercom to everybody coming to the conference room, an email. There's many ways to do it. Doesn't always have to be about money. Could be about time off. You you think of that, but recognize your people when they do a good job. Number three, invest in your team. That's right. You can't expect your team to grow into leaders if you don't invest the time and energy into them in the first place. So if you want to unleash a full potential of your team to see them invest and grow, building employees takes skill knowledge. So the more your employees learn, the better off your business is going to be in the long haul. That's right. If you personally can't do it, who in the organization, who outside of a vendor can come in and give them those traits, give them those drill downs on processes that they need to understand and do their job better. These types of tactics that allow your employees to not only encourage and be looking forward 
into some additional training, but also it improves and expands their skill sets and they become more valuable to your company. Um, who doesn't want that? That's an that's easy one. Number four, how about offering consistent and constructive, keyword, constructive feedback? Part of being a good leader is able to identify the areas of improvement and finding solutions where employees say there's a weakness. Don't have to really get upset. If you're hearing some things that you don't like, you consider them harsh, the employees are just looking at it from their angle. Be a good leader, be a good mentor, let them talk about what they perceive could be better for the whole team if you do that. Being a leader and a mentor also means that you must take this constructive feedback and you use it to improve. What can I do to be a better leader? So maybe you have a weakness. No one's strong in every area. And maybe you need to go to a class of teach the teacher when it comes to that specific thing, because your team says that you're great in all these other things, boss, but here's the area. So always receive constructive feedback in a positive manner. How about building a positive work environment? That's right. No one is a fan of negative work environments. After all, who wants to deal with something like that? If you want to foster leadership in the workplace, create a positive and productive work environment. Positive workplaces not only give your employees a boost, but it also can improve productivity. And who doesn't want that? So if it means that for some of your employees, for them to shine. Maybe it means that some of the work can be done at home and not the office. For a workplace to be successful, it needs to be open, trusting, fun. All the team members in there need to trust and respect their job role and the other team members' job role. So that's you, you are the leader. If you're not sure, sure where to start, where it comes to creating a good workplace, here's a couple of suggestions. Listen to ideas, celebrate small wins, bring in treats, share your gratitude. And as you're doing these things, you'll hear what you need to do to make sure that the workplace is conducive for the team to be productive, if they're having fun, if they enjoy, if they want to come to work, you're in good shape. And know when to ask questions. You live and you learn, and, uh, am, I, am I right? You wouldn't be the person you are today if you didn't make a few mistakes along the way. As a leader, take it from people who've been there, and with my experience as a entrepreneur and working for people over the years, yeah, there's good and bad, but hey, I need to ask questions from time to time because all 50 states that I've worked in is different. All decision makers, whether it's key account, major account, up and down the street, in the home, retail, all of it is different. So if you don't know the answer, ask your team member. Ask them what they would do in a situation. You have a huge wealth of information in your employees. So don't let it go untapped. When seeking help from your team, you benefit by getting the answers you need from some of those team members. Plus, it gives your employees the opportunity to showcase their skills. Remember, you interview them, they come with a wealth of background of information. So if some of this makes sense, I hope it does. We want you to be a good leader. We need 
good leaders. Good leaders, good mentors help companies continue to grow. And I'll leave it with this. One of my best mentors was a gentleman called Lee Iacocca. If you remember the Ford Mustang, he was the one who invented it. And then he went on to save Chrysler. He said to me this, here's the rules of man, here's the rules of God, everything else in the middle is creativity. I'm the laziest person in my organization because I hire lead people to do their job. And when they do their job right, the company grows. Once again, Brandon Hardison, president of Champion Strategies with a little Hardison's tip for the day. As always in parting, go on out and make it a champion.